today's video, I'm going to be covering a review of this new SimGot IEM that's sitting here in front of me. However, I am also going to be comparing this to two other IEMs at the same exact price point as we get into the sound section. So you're gonna to wanna to check that out. Now with that out of the way, let's get into it. What's cracking everyone? My name is Ryan and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the SimGot EM6L or as I like to refer to these, the Phoenix because that's what's on the box and I have no idea why I'm doing this talking about the Phoenix. But I do wanna send a big thank you to SimGot Audio who did send this out in exchange for my review. All thoughts, all opinions, all wonky things that I do during this video are of course my own. Nobody's paying me to be an idiot. So first off, we're gonna take a look at the technicalities of the Phoenix, and yes, I am gonna to refer to these as the Phoenix because it just sounds cooler than saying EM6L. Now, the Phoenix is a hybrid driver IEM, so it consists one dynamic driver and two sets of BA drivers that come together for 26 ohms of impedance and 119 dB of sensitivity. Now, taking a quick look at the build of the IEM, this is a 3D printed resin housing on here. It's got a mirror-like finish on it, glossy if you will. It's gonna show up fingerprints really easy, but I do like the black aesthetic of it. Kind of gives me that Phoenix vibe when I look at that with the SimGot logo on there. It's very lightweight. And I will say one thing that may bother some people is the two pin connector on the IM. You're gonna notice it sticks out. So, you know, depending if you swap cables and something like that, it may be a little bit odd around your ear if it's got that loop and it makes it stick out further. So, you know, just something to note there, not a huge deal to me, but in the box, it's actually a little simplistic of an unboxing. I like the box, first of all, but as you get inside of there, you're gonna get the IEMs, of course. You're gonna get a single set of silicone tips, small, medium, and large. You're also gonna get a very basic silver-plated OFC cable. Now, I'm okay with the cable, it's nothing special, but it does terminate to a three and a half mil connection, pretty standard. And you do get a black zipper case that's just like the one we saw with the SimGot EA500. Nothing special to note, nothing bad, just nothing exciting, I guess, either of the Phoenix. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and talk about the sound signature of the Phoenix. And I know that sounds like I'm gonna talk about measurements. I'm not, it's just they did put the measurement on the box and it does show you that this is tuned to the 2019 Harman target, which, you know, for my listening, they're pretty dead accurate to what they're trying to accomplish there. So this does have a nice full extension of bass down low. Uh, I can really feel it. It's got a good amount of slam as you get into that lower end of bass. Now, as you move through the bass, getting to the upper bass region, it does taper off a little bit and it does the same thing on the lower mids. And then SimGot, you know, something they typically like to do with their house sound is they give you some upper mid range presence. Now, this one does, but what's interesting here is it's a lot more smoothened out than what I've heard in other SimGots and it's almost a little bit relaxed in that mid-range, but it does give you enough presence there. It's a little bit lower resolution than some other IEMs I've heard in this price point. And, you know, I'll talk about that when I do that comparison, but it's a very smooth listen there. And then when you get into the treble of this, it's got a little bit of sparkle and every once in a while, it can do a little bit of a sizzle if you, you know, give it some volume and it's on the right kind of track but there's a good amount of space, there's a good amount of air to this, and I find the treble to be very pleasing. And overall, I just find the overall tuning of this IM to just sound very pleasant and something that I think is gonna cater to a lot of people. But I'd wanna take a deep dive into that, compare this to two other IEMs, and take you through some track examples. So let's do that next. All right, and so the two IEMs that we're gonna compare with this IEM here is going to be the Kiwi Ears Quartet, which retails in at $109, and the Dunu Kima Classic, which retails in at $199.99. Now, I have done reviews of both of those IEMs, and I will link that down below so you guys can check that out for individual things about those IEMs. But the obvious reason being they are all priced the same, albeit you know different sales and things. That is why I chose these three to kind of compare alongside each other. Now, the first track that I want to bring up is called Vito by Son. And the reason why I bring up this track is there's a lot of 
opportunity for resolution and layering to here in this track as well as nice low end sub bass that would come through. Now starting with the Phoenix, I will tell you that this has probably the least amount of resolution that I heard in the mid range at least from all three of these, but it was still a nice smooth listen to this track. But that sub bass, when that kicks in, it's an engaging sub bass and I like to be engaged with my music and it really made me kind of take some attention to this track on the Phoenix when I heard that track on the Phoenix. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that sub bass really kicked in. Like I said, the mid range is not lost or anything. It just doesn't have that extra bitter layers that I got with the Kiwi Ears Quartet. And with the Kiwi Ears Quartet, what I will tell you there is it doesn't have quite as much of that low end presence as the Phoenix does. It's got enough, but just not quite there, but it does have a little bit more sparkle up top and gives a little bit more sense of maybe some brilliance going on there with the Kiwi Ears Quartet. Never mind the fact that you can use switches on there to kind of switch up your sound slightly if you want to do that. Now, the Dunu Kima Classic, this one I would say probably has the least amount of low end bass. It has low end bass, don't get me wrong. Just when I compare the three of these, it has the least amount of presence there. It has the most amount of presence as we get into the upper mid range. And I think it gives you almost a false sense of resolution when you listen to that IM compared to these other two, because it does have that mid range energy going on to where it's a more mid focused IM, I would say, and even into the treble focused IM. And you're going to get a little bit of sizzle and sibilance with that IM compared to these other two. Now, Let's go ahead and move on and talk about another track. And that track is Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. Such an iconic track to listen to when you're testing out IMs or testing out any kind of headphones because you wanna talk about mid-range and presence, you know, vocals and just everything that goes on with that track will show off so much of the product you're listening on or show, you know, little of the product that you're listening on. Now, I'm actually gonna start with the Kima Classic here because the Kima Classic is the brightest of the three here and the splash of the cymbals on this track is a little much for me and becomes a little bit more harsh in a way and just a little bit too bright at times when I listen to that track. Now the quartet, again, talking about that resolution and the technical abilities of the quartet, I love Fleetwood Mac's song here uh, when I listen on the quartet. I mean, it is just a fantastic listen for $109 IM. And it's just got that mid range, you know, resolution and details and things and gives you nice space here. And it gives you a nice amount of punch, at least on, you know, some of the drums and things that are going through this mix. But then when we get to the Phoenix, it is not lost on me either, because even though that resolution is not there, it's such a smooth listen, man. I just, you know, listening to that track it reminds me of on this I am just kind of kicking back and sipping a drink or something and just enjoying your music and not trying to pay too much attention to the details and things and just be in your music. And that's what I get out of the Phoenix. Now, I'm going to move on to one bonus track here and talk just about the Phoenix because this is actually a match made in Phoenix. Yeah, it, it's, it's just a match for the Phoenix. And that track is Teach Me Tonight by Kevin Mahogany. Now, I found this on a title recommendation when I was testing out the Phoenix to listen for you guys. And wow, this track is just, like I said, this is exactly what I feel like this I Am was made for. You get a really nice sense of vocals from his voice but then you also get this saxophone that's off in your left ear throughout the mix. And you get this nice crispy piano that's in, you know, center to right throughout the mix as well. And even though you don't get huge resolution here, you get a good sense of space and just an ultra smooth listen. This track is beautiful on this I Am. I've listened to it several times on the Phoenix because, you know, you just every once in a while will find that genre of music or that particular song that sounds best on your gear. And that's what that was for me on the Phoenix. Now, don't get me wrong, I listened to it on the Kima Classic and the Quartet, and they were okay on that. But sometimes extra details and things can be a disadvantage on a track if you just wanna chill out and have an awesome listen. And that's what this did with that particular track. 
And that's kind of how I'm going to round this out for you guys. And that, which one would you choose? Well, the Phoenix is really for somebody that's wanting a chill experience, not looking for a ton of extra details and definitely doesn't want something too bright, but gives you nice engaging base down in the sub base. That's what I dig about the Phoenix. And I think that's who it's going to be for. It also pairs up with multiple genres and gaming. I gamed with this IM and I thoroughly enjoyed, I say thoroughly a lot. I thoroughly enjoyed my gaming experience with this IM when I listened to that. The Quartet, obviously, you know, I've kind of talked about this, but if you're looking for the best resolution of the three of these in this price range, I don't think you can go wrong with the Quartet. Also, the fact that the Quartet has the tuning switches kind of gives it a little bit of an advantage to be able to tune up your sound just a little bit there. And then there's the Kima Classic. And to me, the Kima Classic is kind of the, the oddball out here because it's a little too bright and a little bit too harsh for my taste sometimes. And it doesn't pair up with every genre very well. I remember saying that it paired up with pop music really well. And I still believe that because it does have some good punchiness to it. And it gives you a nice good presence of vocals, but sometimes can be too bright, especially if you're listening to aggressive music. So, you know, that's kind of where I lie with this one. Phoenix though, I dig it. SimGot is having a banner year with the IMs they have been releasing because I have been impressed with every single one and they all fit my ears really well, which, you know, that kind of helps as well. So there you go. Hopefully this video helped you guys and hopefully you enjoyed it. If so, please smash that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel because, well, something in this room is going to be an upcoming video if you haven't noticed in the background. All right, guys, I thank you all for watching and I will... See you in the next one.